Hello guys and welcome to your 11th Java tutorial. Uh, so in this tutorial we are going to be going over switch statements. Now switch statements are kind of like a shorter version of writing if statement code. They're a lot faster and they might be even more useful in some cases than if statements. Uh, so anyways let's get started here. and We are going to make a simple program that uses a scanner variable. Uh, so import java.util.scanner Ah, uh, all right. There we go. And let's create a new scanner variable. My scan. Set it equal to new scanner, uh, with a parameters of system dot in, meaning that I'll scan text in from our keyboard, or uh, system dot in. All right. So now that we've done that, uh, let me tell you a bit about this program. So it's going to be very fast. Uh, it's going to ask the user for the month he was born in, and he's going to enter a number from 1 through 12. Then we're going to take uh, his number, and we're going to give him some text output based on his certain number. Now, we can do this with if statements, but it would take us uh, some time to do so. We're just going to do it very quickly and rapidly with switch statements. So anyways, let's prompt this user to enter his month, uh, the month he was born in. All right, sorry, guys, I'm failing at typing right now. Ugh, there we go. All right, uh, enter, enter the month you were born in. One through twelve. We'll give him a hint. We'll give him a hint in parentheses here. And there we go. That's beautiful. And now we need to simply take an integer, uh, call it month, set it equal to my scan dot next int. So he uh, the user has the time to ant enter his number and press enter. After which, it'll store that number in month. Now, all right, guys, let's start. Let's start. What, 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 we, what would we primarily be doing with if statements? Well, we would have to write a ton. We would have to write well, not really a ton, but we would have to write month equals equals one. Move on to the next line. Else if blank 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 etc. It's just a lot of formatting text. You know what I'm saying? It would be a lot better if we could just do it short, quickly, and rapidly. Well, that's why the switch statement was created. We can simply say this code. We can say switch month and then put these uh, curly braces after that. Now, what this exactly means is that we are going to be testing the value of month. Switch month. That's really all it means, and I will I will uh, type one some code right now, and I will explain it as soon as I'm done typing. So we're switching the value of month, and we are testing the the values of month right now. So say, if the case was that the value of month was one, then we would probably want to print out you. Are you like the cold? I don't know, some something random. And then we would put break after that. Now, what does this exactly mean? What what's all this stuff that's coming up? Well, all right. First part, we've already broken down the switch. Switch um, word tells us that we want to test the value of month in the switch statement. And case one means that in the case that in the case that val the value of month is one. And after the colon, we have the code that we want to execute. And then this break statement uh, stops the program from running any further and just exits the code. Now, I'll, I'll show you guys. I'll explain these break statements more in depth after we're finished typing the code. Uh, but first of all, let's just finish these cases. I'm going to say case 6, uh, you like summer. I don't know. Uh, the heat, uh, in, I don't know, case seven, you are awesome. And since I'm born in July, I'm just going to say you are awesome. All right, awesome. Uh, so anyways, and don't forget the break statement after each one of these, and I'll, I'll explain why this is very important at the end. All right. So we just did, we just tested uh, the case one. If the month he entered is one, if it's six, 
if it's or if it's seven. Uh, so, anyways, what what if the value of month is none of these, right? We still need to give him some kind of you know feedback, right? That's why this default was created. This default uh, block of code. So it's kind of like the else in the if else if else statement, something that it resorts to if all the conditions fail. So that's what default was made for. Default. Uh, let's give him a picture. Uh, let's give him some emoticons. Why not? I know smiley face, happy face, sad face. All right, that's good enough. That's good enough. Nothing, nothing too special, but just some text output for him. So, all right. Now that we've actually done that, uh, let's kind of review this code quickly. All right. So, what what, what have we done here? We've put the switch uh, switch keyword here. Uh, to create a switch statement on the value of month, we need to change the value of month. Technically, well, we're not even changing it. We're just testing the values of month. So if it's one, then we need to print out you like the cold break out of the code, meaning that it does not execute further. If this break statement was not here, then it would just continue on to case six, and it would print out this code. If this break statement wasn't here, it would just keep on continuing. As soon as we reach a condition that we like, we want to break out of the loop. This means this means just skip to the end. That's all it means. It means not to run this code. That's that's very important part of the program. Uh, so, anyways, k six system dot out dot print ln. You like the heat seven. You're awesome. Don't forget this break statement after each one of these. If if the value is not one six or seven, he's just gonna get a bunch of these emoticons. And uh, once again, let's run this program and see all this stuff in action. Enter the month you were born in. Seven. You are awesome. All right, that's good. I like it. Enter the month you were born in. Three, and we get a bunch of these smiley faces. So once again. It's very important to put these break statements here because if we didn't, if we say missed one out, it would, and I entered one. So if we missed one and I entered one, it would simply skip. It would go, you like the cold, you like the heat. Because it would say, okay, case one, he entered one, so I'm going to print out, you like the cold, and I'm just going to continue on with this program and print out, you like the heat, and only here am I going to break out. I know that's kind of a weird, weird concept, but just don't, please don't forget to put the break statements in. And this is the default, uh, kind of like equivalent to an else and an else, um, and an if else if else statement. The default here. Uh, so, yeah, guys, a really quick tutorial on switch statements. Uh, I hope you uh, got as much as you could out of this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.